coming at you. And as you can see, already jumping into it. So these two teams, especially with the best of the five series, don't want to take much time in between, and then that's a good thing. So as promised, a short break right there, but we are back. DreamHack winner 2013 qualifiers. Deathmatch stage is our third and final deathmatch of this qualifying event. And Team Excellent, of course, down one nothing now, going into game number two. With that said, again, I'm Brinkus CBK. I'm joined by Kezu and Panny as my co-casters. So, uh, Panny, we'll start with you first. I mean, you look at the bands coming out right here. Warby, Dampier, Ophelia, actually. So, uh, that's, uh, you know, I guess, well, uh, they were the ones to play Ophelia, but they don't want to give it to IG now. You look at the initial bands. So, a little bit of reaction coming out there from game one. Are you fine with that? Yeah, I mean, um... Excellent, didn't really see the Ophelia working last game. They're just kind of going to switch it up a bit and make sure that they can kind of maybe run a either no jungler strat um, and try something different. They just don't want to give um, IG Ophelia. It's just very smart to do. If you don't want to play Ophelia, you shouldn't give it to the enemy team either. Um, and IG, of course, going to ban Tempest after that. Just really strong jungler and Pew, best Tempest in the world as well. So um, they're just going to leave those two out of there and going to jump straight to the Engineer and Keeper. So. Yep, keeper response, master of arms. Going to be the next pick from Excellent. And, you know, that kind of, uh, you wonder if something like, uh, say, a, say, a Dampier may be in the works here for Team Excellent. I mean, uh, obviously that it's doesn't banned. need to be, is it? Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Still, they, they can do it. I got console it's, commands. I can make yep. it work. I'm Ben. Uh, no, so not going to be a Dampier. But uh, what I was getting at is, uh, you know, the idea of uh, two supports coming out here. But we'll see what that master of arms Ends up uh, shaping up to be torture. Going to be the response, though. But, again, they got that keeper. Uh, we've seen Jungle Keeper a little bit. Again, especially Hanskin, he's been doing it. He's proven that it's still very, very worthy as a jungler. Uh, could you see that as possibly here from IG? I think that's going to be your Suicide Keeper. Could be possible, but suicide, pro 100%. probably probably not. Again, like the other team already has Engineer MOA. If he would, like if they run him as a jungler, he's going to have a really hard time pushing. And on top of that, I actually don't like Bassett's drafting, or the first pick. I disagree picking NG over Keeper. Yeah, I think that Keeper is just insanely strong. The late game potential, early game pushing power, team fight, just everything he brings to the table is insanely strong. I value him over Engineer, but you never yeah, know but is what he, they feel like. Is he fun to play? No, he's not. <laughs> I play him all the time. I know, but. It's a team effort, uh, Ricky. No, I get obviously a little bit of I mean, <laughs> there is a lot on the line, so that that's not an excuse to use by any means here. Um, but uh, but yeah, that, that's that seems to be an overall consensus for the most part. Not not the most fun hero to play in the world, but hey, it gets the job done. Um, and IG, I'm sure they're happy to have him. So we'll see if that ends up in Zibby's hands here or not. Uh, but they do have bubbles, so <laughs> hey, hey, you just talked about that. I mean, playing a lot of bubbles recently, so maybe not. Maybe, maybe a jungle keeper. I mean. <laughs> Uh, Pandy, you said 100% suicide keeper, but you maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit, 95% now. I mean, changing. Or? Well, I mean, the reason why I'd say 100% is because I see, I see keeper only working as a jungler if the enemy team also has one because uh, you make it like when you have a keeper, he can't help a lane, he can't really do anything to his level six, and that kind of just nullifies the presence of a short lane here, for example, who like Ophelia last game could gank for CD if needed, and I feel like. If the other team sees that you have a keeper of the forest jungle, they can just take advantage of every single lane and just roam it a lot. They have two supports you don't. So yeah. that's why I don't really like it. Um, on top of that, I just want to comment that I feel like, although I do find keeper as a stronger pick than uh, NG, uh, Bassus is usually one of those suicide players. He's not like Kezu in the sense that uh, Kezu just plays heroes like he, he does really well with heroes like war beast keeper and those heroes that you can also set up ganks but you benefit a lot from farming bassus is kind of a playmaker he's not that many suicide players are like him and i feel like maybe that's why he doesn't uh, prefer keeper over uh ng mm -hmm. and maybe he wants something like a rally like a bubbles like a lodestone um something that can just make plays i feel like it's what bass's style is compared to most suicides on the scene yeah uh, so, Panny complimenting uh, Keizu there. You uh, you got any... Uh, what, what does Panny play good, Keizu? Everything. <laughs> Panny is the best player in the game. Okay. Some Specifically good on dropping here. items. Ah. Uh, oh. The low I'll blow. See. <laughs> oh. I'll oh, see you after this. There. I'll see you after your nap. 1v1. <laughs> Middle. Soul Stealer only. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's see. Rally Gemini. Gemini coming out there. Interesting. Uh, Sandwraith, Rechnack, Balfagor, Andromeda are the bands. Yeah, that's... Uh, so they take out Gemini. That's uh, I, I know uh, 
Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, does Marcus Moy, is he known for playing Gemini? Is that a possibility? <laughs> but a wolf knocks. He does, Marcus yeah. Moy okay. Yeah, definitely. Right, well, they go Moon Queen instead. I think they can be happy with that. But uh, they go the Moon Queen. Is this a Moon Queen lineup you guys like? Sure. They have <laughs> really good supports and Kraken. Yeah. What Shaping isn't a up good, for a good moon, queen. moon Queen lineup? Yeah, what, what isn't a good Moon Queen lineup? Right? <laughs> so that was kind of a stupid question. Uh, response here from the Hellborn team now. So again, they got the Bubbles Torture and Keeper. Again, it's a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see where that Keeper all 100% ends up. But uh, maybe get some more information here. But you think they could still use their? Uh, well, I mean, so now that they know they're going up against the Moon Queen, uh, you, what do you? What kind of style do you draft here, knowing that you're going up against the Moon Queen? Do you try to compete with him with another hard carry yourself, or? You can. Well, um, kind of depends. Uh, I mean, what would you do? <sighs> Let's see. I mean, okay, so you look at IG's draft right now. They have a lot of mid game and early game uh, with that Keeper of the Forest. Kind of depends on where he goes. Um, but say he's a suicide uh, Keeper of the Forest. Say you put a Bubbles um, solo mid or no, you put a Bubbles solo top, some lane. Um, and then you have some care or some kind of initiator mid that, like a Ravenor. Or someone that can also have an effect mid to late game. Let's see who it is right now. So stupid. Okay, so um, I, I like that because I think he's one of the only heroes who just does a crazy amount of damage um, mid game and even early game, and he can also carry really hard. So I kind of that's what I was I was kind of getting to. I think you could get a hero who just can do a lot in case your team gets a good start, and uh, you can kind of take a team fight early on, like Soul Stealer, or you could pick a hero just to be safe that has some lanky potential as well. Yeah. Oh, they go Soul Stealer again. Yeah, not one we see. I mean, he pops up every now and then, so uh, it is fun, f a fun hero to see. On top of that, so excited to see where that ends up and uh, and how he performs. You right clicking the Blitz over here. I find it hard to believe that's going to be their final pick coming out. But uh, I oh, think Flux. Yeah, Flux. Flux works. Flux is Flux good with Kraken. Yep, yeah, and Kraken. Oh, that's right. That's it. Ah, trolled. <laughs> oh, and it. Well, I mean, they could have gone flux, and it would have made sense, but yeah, they do go the fade in the end. So, um, what? See, I was gonna say, Moon Queen, trial and Moon Queen, we've been seeing every now and then too. It is, I doubt that's gonna be happening here, uh, unless do you guys think there's a possibility? Uh, it's probably not. Okay. Probably just gonna be a long lane Kraken and then two dual lanes. Yeah. So just gonna yeah. Go uh, yeah. Yeah. They go back. They back to Pesty. Okay, keep her jungle. Okay, break you called it. Yeah, I win. I don't know what I win, but <laughs> I win a, something. What the hell is that a bubble? Mm. That's a bubble support, by the way. No, I don't. No, no. no. search your support. Keep her jungle. JK. Uh, bubble yeah, suicide lane to play. Um, soul steal at the top and pesty man. Yeah. Do Thank, thanks, man. Who, who is this guy? Come on. I'm, I'm high. I don't know what's going on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just brain lagged. Yeah, yes. that never happens to me. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Game number two, ladies and gentlemen. IG versus uh, Team Excellent. That's who it is. Team Excellent coming at you. So we got game number Kong, one, obviously. Kong, Kong. For IG. I hope they Kong. Go you Kong. Know. Who's that? The Hellborn team, I guess? Oh, uh, they're not going Kong. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's okay. insane, yeah. The last I mean, time I casted and I said Kong, they actually TP'd. That was pretty funny. That, yeah, I remember, <laughs> that was I remember pretty that. cool. It, it was a pause screen, and it's like, no, there's, there's, yeah, I remember that. that was good. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was fun. Um, anyways, not going to be happening here, so yeah, yeah. Expect a, expect a conventional from Excellent. Expect a conventional really from IG, as far as what they go with. But uh, but yeah, the Pestle's final pick. Obviously, uh, Zergo did a great job on that last game, and some good minus armor synergy as well as I like to refer to, especially with him and Soul Stealer, uh, going to be coming out, so they can benefit from that. You know what? By the way, Soul Stealer again. He kind of. I remember he obviously is, he's had a long history in Heroes of New Earth. And obviously, he comes from Dota, a very staple hero in there. Um, yeah, Bass is playing the fade. How about that? Uh, he he initially got nerfed. His ultimate got nerfed. His demon hands actually five more mana costs. And then they finally reverted that recently. And then they actually made his souls, you know, where you can get up to 40 souls now. Uh, you guys like that change? Would you like to see the ultimate maybe even reverted once again? Or you think that would be too much? No, I think the change is good. Okay. Too Makes him more viable. Just P is insane in lanes now. Yeah. It's also like it's... Weird to see when you watch him or you watch a replay. He's like, wait, what? He has ten souls over one. What the hell? And then you realize that they just recently buffed him. He just gets insane amount of damage in laning phase, mm -hmm. just from auto attacks. But yeah, he can snowball even harder now throughout the game. So, so yep. 
Yes, Panny, you want to say something? Uh, so besides it being two and two, and I'm sending fade NG long lane. You have Soul Steel with nine runes of nine runes of blight. That's pretty weird, and a health potion. So huh. they really want to win this lane, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. Now they're going to be spotted right away. You didn't see the ward of sight placed here by Sender, so they, it's almost as if they maybe expected something to be happening. But so if you're if you're IG here, do you respond any way to this, or you just still have your two man lane mid? I mean, they are going to be sending torture top. It looks like you guys like that decision. Um, tough call. I would have to think about that because I'm pretty sure that Kraken's going to have the upper hand now over Zergo. Or the Pestilence, especially with the pool region. Well, he has the two minor totems over Pessy, and then on top of that, the Bash. It really depends how confident they are in a Soul Seeder Torture lane, because it's really not the strongest, but not the weakest lane. It depends how they execute it. But Angie Fate, they can easily kill one of them. Yeah. So, yeah. It's risky. It depends on how they see it. Like, if they feel like Torchra can't do a lot, as there's action oh, top. Oh no, oh no. So let's just look at that damage. I mean, that's just one stun into the next. That's only level ones right there. <laughs> you already see him dropping that much. So, yeah, I mean, it, this has a lot of kill potential, as, as you said. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see if they can stay alive, is basically what it comes down to here um, at that top lane. What about you, Pandy? What do you think about that? Uh, it's really hard to say. I mean, I don't think Torture can do too much mid either. Uh, he, he like Kraken's gonna get XP whether you like it or not um, because it's mid lane and it's just easier to control the creeps that way. And creeps will go to both sides at some point. So um, I think if they can pull this off top, definitely worth it. But you kind of want to get Soul Expanse also there. Yeah. Oh, top lane once again. Fade taking a lot of damage, but there's a the kicks and it hits Torture. Torture now in a kind of vulnerable spot. But he says, I got a pelvic, baby. I'm going to do some damage to you. Engineer will survive, though. Beautiful health potion keeps him alive. Demon Answer. Oh, Whoa. that was the wrong one. Uh, oops. I, I, would that he, have been a he kill? Missed, he, no. That wouldn't have been a kill. He if he auto attacked, and I don't know if he had his long range hand off yeah. cooldown. If he auto attacked and had the long range hand, then yes, but I guess he didn't. Yeah, I don't know if that was a misclick or was just on cooldown. I'm actually not sure on that. So, but both in teams the end. had a little misplay there. Like yeah. fade stunned without any NG follow up, but then find return it with a big health pot to not give up the bloodlust. Mm -hmm. And yeah, oh, what the only hell? hurts the most. Wow, good. a solo soul stealer takes out engineer. You see fade right here, and now fade's actually gonna run away because the auto attacks just too much. So how about that? The demon ants he levels it up to level two actually. At level three, and it's enough to take out Engineer. That is not what you wanted if you're Team Excellent at all at that top lane. So, look, okay, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, but it must have been just well played by Fabelli, I guess. A Greek power. Oh, <laughs> Greek. I don't know. Oh, and Pelson the middle lane missed right there. But, um, uh, Pan, did you see that Panny? Or I actually was watching mid the whole time. Yeah. We all failed. You guys are okay. the cameramen. Top lane right. fade is gonna fall as well. Yeah. I, uh, this is, okay, I guess the decision was good. That's what we're learning yeah, here. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like side, NG Fate should have the upper hand. Sorry to interrupt, but they, what if you they? just wait, like you have Rasp once at level 1, then you wait level 2, you keg turret the Tord, because then Soul Seeder can't do anything other than look and auto attack. Because, mm -hmm. like, Keeper can't do anything until he's level 6, so at least until he has that level mark, you should be doing... Like, you should dominate or at least go even top to slow down the Soul Seer, and then when Keeper is fixed, you then that's when you leave. Yeah. But they're kind of forced to leave already. Oh, no. Okay, wow. Nearly another kill on a fade, but he's able to dodge the final auto attack right there at least. But again, you, you talk about that. I mean, he only has a level 2 Soul Steal, yet he's already up to 20 souls right here. Yeah. Uh, it's it, The change definitely matters. I mean, that's compared to what? It would have been 14 before, so. Six more souls that you're getting from there. So um, you see middle lane again, cracking going again. How's that matchup going, by the way? Uh, Pass. In fact, you see right here. Yeah, they've already just they say, okay, it's not going to work out. We send NG mid. Kraken is 27 and one. Pestilence 24 and one. So a very even kind of back and forth matchup there. It seems like at that uh, at that middle lane. Then there's the bottom. Keepers 29 and 0. Moon Queen 28 and he's denying a lot and 20, <laughs> 28 and 20. So. Uh, Moon Queen is having a great start. You do see the pull coming out here from Master of Arms. So he's going to try to get the lane positioning back to the middle lane, though. Once again, some more action. Kex on his Pestilence. He's being slowed by the turret, but he will be fine in the end. So 
not much is going to happen there. But do uh, you think Moon Queen's having a good what, – what was it? I said keeper. Wow, yeah, Bubbles is down here. Bubbles is one on one That's a little different. Okay. <laughs> I just assumed it was the Suicide Keeper. Keeper's in the oh. jungle. But Bubbles yeah. not doing a good job. Is that expected? Yeah, he's against MOA Moon Queen. It's just a really strong lane. They have two stuns. Moon Queen has really high range, short cooldown, and yeah, I'm sure he's doing his best. And as I said before, he plays Bubbles top level. No so. middle lane, Pestilus is on top. Big room coming out though. Pestilus is gonna live, and down goes Crack right there. Pestilus going man mode. The balls are huge right now on Zergo. He gets the double tap for Sender. Oh man, beautiful turnaround right there. The release of Kraken, obviously, it was a good attempt and a great idea. And it seemed like it was going to work, but the root from Keeper of the Forest, 100% saving Pestilence and allowing for that turnaround. So, uh, oh, that's your jungle keeper coming into play. He assists in the middle lane because he happens to be nearby. And per after that, perfect, he's having a great time. Perfect rotation for him. Even before that, he was sitting on around, I don't even know, 310 GPM, like pretty good. Now he's sitting on 340. Just perfect usage of the root. I'm pretty sure he's safe. Pestilence, Plaska, two turnaround kills. So just perfect rotation. Really good jungling, especially this game by Insane here on the Keeper. And yeah, now they're looking really strong. Oh, 3,000 gold. They want, they want to kill Soul Stealer though, and they might actually do that. Great hero blocking from Faden. Nope, never mind. He stood us at the last second. And Soul Stealer, unless he can somehow get away one second, Burning Shadow. No, you can't dodge that. That will connect. Keeper cannot get there in time, so. Took a little bit longer to actually get that kill right there on a Fibelli, but they do. As Bassett actually gets credit for it. So finally a little bit of a sponsor for Team X. Oh, but this is gonna be bad for Serial Fine. Killer. Ouch. He uh he uh, he got found. And uh, he gets yeah. picked off, so you really were unfortunate. Yeah. Um Pew and Pew and Fine, um just they, as you can see, I mean even Bubbles has a bit higher GPM than both supports and that's definitely where you now where you don't want to be. I mean, like we said before, the keeper jungle, it's you know, it can get the job done in terms of farming, but it does leave your lanes a bit open. And excellent just kinda uh, messed up a bit top. I mean, they really shouldn't have died this many times and after you give Soul Seal a couple of levels, you really can't land against them. Oh yeah, and you see the middle, that's just uh well, that's just movement once again from IG. So we stressed that last game, that was a big factor. It's continuing here now in game number two. I mean they don't even have the same they don't even have Maybe as big of a move, movement style team, but it's still just working out beautifully for them as far as a start. So, Keizu, there's always the Moon Queen factor, right? Correct. I mean, he is having a really good start, but 320 GPM. He must have missed a few CS here and there. He should be at like 360 minimum right now. But yeah, it really depends on how hard IG is going to snowball. What they should be doing, like rather soon, is take all the other towers and remove the space from Moon Queen, like from the farming. Like, don't let him get stacks, don't let him free from everywhere as mid lane. <laughs> get another kill. Ay, uh, ay, yeah, yeah. It's just They're like just, and repeat. Just like last game. Yep. They're Zibe moving around. He helps the dual lane mid. They do their stuns. He does his shell, and voila. One yeah. dead. Hey, it's, you know, you hate to take away from I. Cause, well, you're not taking away from I, because again, they, they're. They're playing this really, really well. The movement's just on ball, on the ball with them, and you see, oh no, top lane, top lane. yeah, yeah. It, it. That was a case where I, I don't get that. Why did Fate not just click Solstice there in that case? Is there a reason not to? There is no reason not to. Yeah, no. you see, the release of crack is going to be used. He's going to charge him back into the mana. He does. So is this going to be a kill though? No, it's not actually. And they're going for a turn now. Solstice throws up the demon. That was the wrong one. The long range will hit though, but Crack is a little tanky himself, so he will be fine. But the but the big point is, well, Soul Stealer lives, and that's what matters. But yeah, I was curious about that because he was like clearly trying to not get dodged right there. But I'm just like, what? Why don't you just click him? Oh, the lead top lane. Let's top lane. Oh, top lane. oh, oh no. my God! <laughs> that was so close. Get it. They he was hit miss, but there's a rev ward, so he saw him. Yeah. There was a great charge by Nox, but he lived after the splash of like two HP because of the keeper armor. That was insanely close. Yeah, yeah. I missed that, but we could tell it was a great moment because of you guys, so appreciate that. Um, yeah. But he does survive, so that's the good news uh, for, well, IG at least, and his farm at 385. So how about this back-to-back -back games? Pestilence, there goes, doing a great job on this hero. He did a great job last game. Obviously, the start is beautiful for him this game. You see them stealing the double stack agents over here. Yeah, that's really good rotation. Like, yeah. either they want to take the towers on with Keeper or use them to, like, seal their jungle, seal the ancients. And seeing the ancients is obviously a very good step in that direction. Yeah, because they can easily clear it. They don't even need the Moon Queen to clear it. Even an MOA with any tank hero, 
with like 30 seconds of time and it's gone. Now they have the Astro and I'm pretty sure they're gonna start to push now. Mm -hmm. And also another note up top, uh, Fibelli playing the Soul Series, he knew what the hell's going on bottom. Yeah, <laughs> Fade's like, I got balls too and he's gonna <laughs> die okay, big yeah, time, but... but... Okay, back to the top lane earlier. <laughs> Fibelli knew that Fade was in risk because of the counter ward, so whoever bought him that counter ward and sent the top, good job by that support player. Yeah. As in mid, they're trying to delay the tower, but nope. not tower. successful. Sorry, bros. Uh, Kraken, he takes a nice friendly stun as soon as he TPs in, but he's going to be fine. Um... Hindsight now, sure. Uh, it sounded like you guys liked the idea from Team Excellent with the laning situation, but... I, I guess it's kind of stupid to ask, because again, that is really just hindsight. But should they have maybe done the 2 2 1 instead of the more conventional? But I actually think that was the right decision. Yeah. Like when so the other play. team has a keeper and on top of that, a weak laner, aka Soul Seeder, a very. Like, you can punish people for picking Soul Seeder. He has no escape mechanism, he's very squishy. So why not put two against him? But if you fail that, then you're in a bad spot. Yeah. It's like try landing long lane and you lose. Oh, middle lane. We do see uh, release of, or not release of Kraken, but Tsunami charge away. There's the release of Kraken to catch Zergo. And Zergo said no chance right there. So that was just, well, the response happened to be there for Team Excellent. IG wasn't aware Baited. of how many numbers. Yeah, I think a little bit of baiting going on from uh, from Excellent. Hey, that's yeah, any way to get kills, right? To top lane, though, in the meantime. Soul Studios, like, you guys have your fun in the middle. I'm going to take out your towers at the top lane. He already has his Energizer Steam Boots. Back to the middle initiation. Fade is going to fall right there. He got caught by the tower. Or not the tower, but the tower range, as he was trying to invis in right there. And obviously that did not work out. And that will be enough to scare off Excellent as Soul Stealer also joins the party. So, again, Excellent, they start to breathe a little bit of life. Eh, not so much, says IG. And they kind of take it away from them once again. So 7,200 goal lead, 5,800 experience lead here for Internet Gangsters. It's looking even, uh, even more of an advantage than it was even in game number one here. Unfortunate to say, because you know, especially as expected, man, we just want we want a great series here. But IG, they're they're proving to be the stronger team, man. In this yeah, series, yeah, they're playing it really well. And excellent, they're gonna have some trouble soon because they don't really have any pushing potential whatsoever. While Hellborn, they just they come with the keeper minions, use the Astro, and they can just chip down a tower at a time. While all that Exxon has, like, is auto attacks on towers, which is going to take a long time. Unless they win a team fight, they're not going to be taking any towers anywhere. Yeah. So, which is what I said earlier, IG, they should be looking to push soon, get those towers down, and remove the space from Moon Queen. And they just picked up the portal key on Pestilence, which means they should start, like, right now. Mm -hmm. To group up as five, or maybe four, depends what they like as top. They try and invest on Keeper, but... Even if they manage to do so, they won't kill him in time. Yeah. So it's just like a wasted fade ult right here and waste of time on top of that. Yeah, I mean, he's not at all on, on top of it all. And is just hugging the tower, so they're not even going to yep. get the opportunity. As obviously he's played this very smart. He knows that he's at a disadvantage right here if, he's, if he exposes himself. So not going to do so. Uh, Moon Queen, you, just, you can't forget about her. I mean, uh, we all know what she can do. And... 390 gold per minute now for Marcus Moy, so it has jumped up. 1,500 gold saved up. Can she risk? Okay, she's going to go the Warhammer. It's still probably going to be the Shrunk. I was going to say, can she risk going for like a Firebrand into a Geometer's Bane even, or is it just you have to go the Shrunk in here, you think? I don't know. It's like a it's a tough call. Yeah. If he, I say this a lot. If you go Shrunken, you won't farm as fast as if you go the Firebrand into Shrunken. But it gives you like an earlier possibility to take the team fights, but they shouldn't even take the team fights. Yeah. I would actually like for him to go the Firebrand into the Shrunken and then he just dodges the fight so he can, like to the point where he gets the Shrunken, he's gonna have a higher GPM. Like he's gonna have more items, more gold than just buying the Shrunken now and then, even if he gets the Shrunken, they're gonna lose the team fights. Yeah. I'll put it that way. So if he gets a Firebrand, they have a better chance for them to actually go into the late game with a higher success of winning. That's true. Yeah, yeah, so again, though, with the Warhammer pickup, it's either that or maybe a charged hammer. Probably not going to be that, though. Uh, uh, sadly, no. <laughs> Thunderclaw, man, underrated. Underrated, in my opinion. True. Oh, you're back, Manny? Okay, you want to talk? Sorry, Fine, talk. No, no, talk no. no. <laughs> 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 awesome. Clearly, you want to say something. Miss I'm back. <laughs> Guys, Greek, I'm back. Weak internet, my bad. Attention. No. Mid lane. Uh, middle oh. lane, yes, there is a little bit, but... Not too much. Oh, maybe? 
Are they going to counter? They are. Almost Bubbles in. coming in. Oh, he misses the kick right there. Take cover. Not going to happen, though. In comes the move finale, and Zibbe is having second thoughts on that initiation. In the meantime, though, Pestles, he jumps back in. Master of Arms 6 to set his fade, but no follow-up coming out. Keep it the forces charging in. He has that ultimate to use, but... Oh, they have a Rev Ward down, actually. So the Nature's Bell not doing enough right here. Insania's in a lot of trouble. He tried to ruin it. Couldn't get it off. And Insania will fall. So a little bit of feed coming out here from Team Excellent. Giving, uh, or excuse me, from IG. Giving Team Excellent some nice hope right here, actually. I, that's kind of a big deal. I mean, because, again, you're just you're, you're, you're buying time for Moon Queen. And you don't yeah. want to do that. So. Definitely a big. They're still in a good spot, but against the Moon Queen, should just never make any mistakes. And if yeah. they just, they should just play safe, go with five, get those towers done, but uh, you never know what their situation is in Skype right now. Maybe one of them, like, they tried to gank, it didn't work. They're going to be like, okay, let's not do that again, just go with five. Mm -hmm. That's probably what they're thinking. And I'm pretty sure, actually, they're pretty happy right now. They know that they're still in the game. And if they can get some stacks up for Moon Queen and not lose too many towers in the next, like, five to ten minutes, they're in a really good spot. Yeah. Even though they're behind, they have the Moon Queen, Kraken, like, they have a pretty good team fight late game team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, this is a great team that scales into the late game. I mean, it's obviously dependent on how everyone ultimately leads up to that point in terms of their farm initially getting to that point. And again, so far, it's, it's decent. You mentioned Kraken's actually doing solid. You know, Fade, as long as she gets enough to at least get that portal key, gets that level 11 mark, yeah, that's where she can really stand. Uh, by the way, do you think that it is going to be a portal key or something else here on Fade? Maybe a tablet, maybe even a puzzle block now and then? What do you guys think? Panny, we'll, we'll go to you for that. Uh, Hellborn have destroyed a Legion Tower. I, I, I think PK, they kind of need initiation. They don't really have much of that. Uh, Kraken isn't really reliable to just go on his own and get an ultimate off. It might be the best decision. But Tablet is always a really good item. I don't really think anything else might fit this game. Um, definitely not a Codex. It's too late for that. Um, but I'd say PK, maybe Tablet. Tablet is never bad, but I kind of feel like they need initiation. The Legion yeah. have destroyed uh, middle lane, we have initiation. Speaking of that, blast shot away to Pestlets. You love actually seeing that used when it's meant to be used appropriately, but still not enough uh, to get the job done there. They deny the tower on top of that. So, again, a good attempt, but clearly just too much lockdown coming out by the Hellborn team. Meanwhile, keep it the force of the bottom lane. He's going to use a root astral lane. Will he survive? Release the Kraken, and the Moonbeam catches him. He thought he made the getaway. I'm sure he was happy initially, but obviously not enough. But he has a team a team of coming. Oh, big and pale set hits all three. The chain reaction and the solvers coming out. Kraken's trying to make something happen. But a hat trick for Fabelli, the tower kill on top, and that just adds insult to injury right there. Man, that his cool. GPM went from 460 to 560 <laughs> with in the time of like a minute. Two yeah. towers, killed mid, hat trick bottom. That yeah, was big. That was big for IG. So, you know, definitely is still hope for excellent, especially before that all just happened. But after that now, they got to be pretty discouraged as that really does hurt because now your Moon Quid is still trying to finish that Shrunken, and that goes back to the idea that that's not going to be necessarily the biggest farming tool sure to help with those fights when they do engage. But, you know, her farm isn't going to isn't going to enhance the greatest here. Where now the Solstice you talked about, 555 gold per minute. What what is he going for, by the way? I mean, is the obvious shrunken head here? I mean, he has enough to buy it, but he should he should just go yeah. bigger shrunken. He just go like right now. Whoever they go like Pesty chooses a target, like Keeper also has a root. Like Sosia has the time of his life. He's gonna have like five seconds to decide. Okay, who where do I blink? Who do I ulti? They can go on any target other than probably the shrunken Moon Queen. Yeah, and blow it up. He goes in R dead. Yeah. So I've, I just feel like if he goes strong and peek is in, there's nothing that can stop him. Like Moon, even if Moonkin right clicks him for five seconds, he's gonna be like half HP. There you go. And there you go. Yeah. The belly agrees. In the end, so. I'm actually kind of surprised by uh, Nox. Like even though he's one three and two, and last game his stats aren't that good. Like he's not playing his main role, and he's been like his tsunami charges were like they're on on spot. His ultis are. Pretty good last game on Ravenor. It's not like it's not like he's missing all his spells. He's doing pretty well on like the heroes he's not used to playing. Yeah. In a tournament. So yeah, he's actually kind of surprising me that he's playing well on the role he's not used to. Yeah, definitely, definitely different. But uh, getting the job done to an extent. I mean, he is trying to build a shrinking on himself. It looks like, but. Obviously, still a little ways away. But here we go, middle lane. IG looking to go cutthroat now. They know they have a pretty good advantage right here. And the last thing they want to do is buy time for Moon Queen. She doesn't have a buyback now. She just got that shrunken head, so I'm sure they're aware of that as well. 
if they uh, if they find that opportunity right here. So I feel like I, IG can just go Congor though. I feel like yeah. they want they can force the fight. They have the chunk of hand on Soul Sealer. They have the Portal Key, uh, Keep of the Forest, and um, Pestilence. I don't really think they need to um, wait or break base because breaking base can be pretty risky. You don't know if the enemy team has any buybacks or if they're going to catch you with some skill out of position like a crack and charge into the base. Like uh, I think that Congor is just a really good decision right now. Bubbles gets the Portal Key now. I mean. If, especially if they can get vision just around this area, um, counter ward everything else, maybe get a bond. I sender has one actually. So uh, if they can just counter ward around Congor uh, and get wards to see any incoming people trying to check or scout it, they can just kill them instantly, force a 4v5, and then after that, Fibeli and uh, Zirko should really just take over in the fight. And a yeah. big root from Insania will definitely set up for a nice ultimate from Fibeli. Speaking of Insania, he's got the portal key. You think he's still sitting on the red boots, by the way. Hey, what are your thoughts on that? I mean,. The just red boots would be upgraded by now, you think, KZ, or...? Um, I see a lot of jungle keepers, actually, they either go red boots or armor boots. Yeah. Um, I don't really play jungle keeper, only play them suicide, and... It's different, because I run around, like... I don't sit in the jungle and farm. They don't really need <laughs> red boots, uh, upgraded boots. Yeah. I, I have to, like, gank sometimes, or escape from ganks with face boots, so they're my favorite choice, but since I don't play the Jungle Keeper, I'm not really sure. Well, what about, um, so as far as what he has here, are you thinking the Resto Stone next makes sense? Yes, yeah. definitely. Get that you just need, he just has to back up uh, the Soul Seeder. They need to have as much lockdown and backup for the Soul Seeder to make space for him in a team fight. Mm -hmm. So definitely the Resto Stone. Panic? Um, no, I... I just, I, you'd expect the Pestilence in this game to get the Souls of Um yeah. So I didn't really, like, I wouldn't think of that. Now, it, at the same time, it's not like a huge item. You don't have, like, crazy physical damage from Hellborn. You do have the Pestilence ulti that would stack well with Bulwark, but um, I, you don't, like, you're not primarily just physical or just magic. So Bulwark maybe isn't the, the most amazing thing. It's more the fact that Resto is just such a huge ulti on its own like, when you're not against the Keep of the Forest. Having two ulties on Keeper, just, uh, it can just set up people being locked down for five, six seconds, and that's really big. So I think that that's kind of just the, uh, just going to kind of make IG even one more step ahead of excellent in team fights. And oh, Bass is going to get picked yep. off. Yep. Beta, no chance right there. He ran right past Ward of Sight and happened to be double Portal Key heroes right next to him. So easy kill coming out right there. You talked about the Souls Borg. On, uh, on Pestilence, he actually gets the Homecoming Stone right there, so we'll see a little bit of gold here if that's what he ultimately goes for. Is actually, they're going to go right into Congor now, so that's what you were talking about earlier, that I feel like they can uh, do the Congor. Now, they didn't ward it up, really, so they don't have the best vision around the Congor pit itself. Again, they do have wards in the jungle of the Legion side, so they got some decent information there, at least, but neither does the Legion team, though. I mean, they only got the one ward side here, which I guess could have spotted them going in the direction, but they don't even want to fight it. They probably figured they can't IG, anyways. they're really not in any... Yeah. Like, there's no problem at all. Unless Kraken gets a 5-man ulti, I don't see IG losing right now. Yeah, if excellent now takes that fight, I'm losing. Yeah. Uh, now you just completely caught me off guard. I'm done. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. Yeah, uh, the five-man ulti. It, it, you, you said you said if IG loses. If yeah. I said the only way IG could lose a Kong fight was if Nox would hit a five-man release the Nox. Which you, don't, you don't believe is kinda in it? Kinda unlikely. <laughs> kinda unlikely, but yeah. He ain't no limp, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he ain't no limp. Hey, oh, 2,400 gold on Moon Queen, by the way. Um, she, I thought she had a firebrand for a second, actually. Maybe I was. Oh no, that was Soul Stealer. That makes sense. He's gonna have one now. Yeah, yeah. you should. Yeah. Unless he goes to Thunderclaw, the infamous. <laughs> he <laughs> needs it, possible. especially if Keeper goes Resto. Like if Keeper hits Resto, then you need to have it on Queen, which is good. And Bastet's okay. Uh -oh. I thought he was getting picked off again, yeah. but going to try to look for something. Not really. I don't really think they can go for a kill unless there's five people from Excellent. Yeah, and well, they got, they got a couple. Oh. Here's the opening. Okay, Burning Shadows will land. Nice Release Kraken coming out. In comes a ruin. Is it going to be enough over Pestilence? He's like, he's like, I want to move. It's not going to happen, though. Release the Kraken too much. And they do collapse. So they didn't need five, but they needed four. I guess technically five with the offensive master's call. So. <laughs> and they get the job done, though, and now they're going to push the top lane. It looks like uh, so a smart decision here from IG, not, not defending. No point. Mm. Um, if they can yeah. just like, yeah, it's a good trade. Even the though the Kraken all is down, they still have the Moon Finale in the Engie Field, and like excellent, they were already at the tower pretty fast after the kill happened. Yeah, and if you TP into an Engineer Field, which every team knows that 
Okay, if they go to defend now and you have an engineer, all you do is press R on the engineer and you collapse on those targets. Because for, I don't know how long it is, it's either one or two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah. They cannot use items or spells, which means if Solcida goes in there, he can't use his drunken. Or any spell, which means they can just collapse on them and kill them instantly, so... Good choice by IG. Did they get the mid tower? Uh, they did not. There wasn't they... any mid tower. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got the farm in mid then. Yes. Yeah. They just... They lost what they already had lost instead of losing more. So yes, props to IG. Great captaining by Insania. I mean, Fidelli didn't have a TP anyway, so they weren't going to fight that. Like, he couldn't get there in time, okay. so wow. regardless of that, wow. uh, yeah, owned. Um, yeah, but still, they <laughs> just couldn't do anything. But they want to try to get a kill over here onto Fidelli. I mean, it'd be really important if they could take that token down, but um, it's, it's only it's only a crack in here, so I don't think they can they can pull this off, and they're just going <laughs> to... Go, yeah, go, go. It'd be a little risky. What are we saying? I mean, oh, Fane needs to be careful. Yeah, I mean, they got the bow and die on that, obviously, yeah, so... He is, uh, he's, he's knowing that. He is going to port back to base and not going to be cut out. There's the shrunken head on Kraken, at least. So, again, that's, uh, that's a step in the right direction. I'm sure the Geometer's Bane is going to be coming up here for Moon Queen. She has another 1,500 gold saved up. Firebrand's purchased. The GPM has has been increasing at nearly oh, wow. 450 now. Kraken BKB or shrunken head, actually. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty, yeah. I mean, they, they still don't have a... Um, they don't have like a bulwark or anything. Excellent. I don't. No, I don't know. I'm. I'm not a Kraken expert. Kazu probably knows better than me. But um, I. I, I, I you think Shrunken's like the best pickup here, bro? <laughs> bro. <laughs> like Shrunken's good against a team match. As okay, that's just illusions going ham. Okay. Um, Bubbles also missed his old. He tried to catch fine, but they had some mind games and he ran the other way. But um, yeah, Shrunken's really good against the Hellborn team, but. They are going to need a bulwark soon. They need some team items. They don't have a astrolabe. They like they have an energizer, a tablet, and a ring of teacher. They don't have an abyssal or bulwark, which they're going to need later on because that's when the physical damage is going to oh. start. Oh, big TP or big portal key there by Fade. He actually avoided the keeper route. They tried to cut him off. They saw him initially. They knew he was going that direction. It's a good attempt from Insania, but just a beautiful reaction from Bassett's actually. So they know Keeper Root's down now. And he doesn't have a Resto Stone. He has 3,700 gold, so not going to be buying it. What do you do here if you're IG or if you're excellent now? Um, Depends how confident they are. I would at least pressure this tower, but I wouldn't force a team fight. They still have token. If Soul Series just goes in and eats all the spells, they're going to lose. Uh, excellent that is. Even if IG doesn't have the root, they still have the Pestilence to set up. They have a Bubbles to set up. Like, they don't... Yeah, oh, here we go. There's the setup. The Soul Burst is going to be cancelled on Burning Shadows. Hits Cuffin in the background. Oh. Moon Queen, though. The Moon Finale, a lot of damage. Shrunken and finally off from Soul Street. He has a token, remember. Give it the Force in the background. Does not have that root, of course. Energy Field going to be released down. Release the Kraken. Catches Torture. Not much else, though. Not the best, honestly. Big going for the kill. They will get the kill, but Moon Queen falls in exchange at TMSR. Or not TMSR. IG will take every day of the week. <laughs> Master of Arms trying to get away. Tablet Command. Are those just illusions? I think oh. they are. <laughs> Or is that the one real one? Is, that, no, that's, that's the real, real one. one, yeah. God damn it, oh, I can't next tell. Next level, next level. Oh, he's oh, going to be so. fine. He's going to be wow. fine. So, uh, well, does make the getaway, but again, the uh, the end result, uh, IG feeling pretty good again. The release of Kraken, unfortunately, wasn't the best. And just also the initiation came from IG as well. So, here comes the push. Yep, yeah. that's what I meant. Like, they should maybe tickle the tower, but not take a fight. <laughs> <laughs> like, if they, I don't know. As I said, if Solsage just goes in, he has a token. It doesn't matter, and he's just gonna blow it now. Yeah. Even Pesky with Shrunken Head, it's just like he can just jump in, Shrunken Head, and fly it out, and they can't really do anything about that. So. No, oh, Kraken? Yeah. Kraken's like, uh, guys, uh, yeah, team, he was envious, but that's not gonna work. He goes down right there. Obviously, they have the Bound Eye Solsage, they're being locked in. He doesn't have the token anymore, actually. Fibelli's in trouble. Fibelli goes down. Pestilence comes with the appeal's done. Just a little bit too late, so uh, again, a little bit of uh, help there from IG to an extent uh, for Team Excellent. They stayed a little bit longer themselves. Uh, the only buyback was Moon Queen, and granted that is a Moon Queen, so that's a big deal. But now Soul Stealer's dead. He does have a buyback himself, but we'll it see. Was, it was Nox's next level bait that yeah. caught Fabelli off guard and make the, made him confuse. Only, he didn't know what to do. Only explanation. <laughs> yeah. Confuse it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Uh, 
So again, they, well, they pick him off, but still, IG, I, I think it's safe to say they're not too worried about that. No, they all they got a buyback out of Moon Queen, and they lost Soul Seeder, sure. It's one minute where he isn't farming, but in that whole time, he is so much ahead of Moon Queen. Yeah. He doesn't even have a Geometer's Bane at the 30 minute mark, which is kind of... Like, you can't say it's bad, because he has a Shrunken, a Firebrand, and Lifesea and 2000 gold, but... Usually you just have those Moon Queens with like gazillion GPM and they're nearly full slotted at this point. But that's just not the case right now because of the pressure IG keeps on putting on excellent and insane right now. He's sitting on four and a half thousand gold, which means he is okay, he just bought two parts. As in bottom, Fade is dead. Warrior. Yep. He is dead for sure, Master Farms. He's oh, going to jump out of there, though. Will they get it? You got a portal key? No, he's not yeah. going to go for it. Hey, Sutter's TX, he's like, wait a second, you're still hanging around. If Pew did not stop to Guru right there, he probably would have been fine, to be honest. But no, it was uh, Zergo. He predicted it. He didn't. He was pretty oh. close. Like, uh, Pew could have like used his gotcha. lightning shot or the um, acid to put it on cooldown. Because the portal key, it was coming off cooldown again. Yeah. But instead of being close and getting it cancelled, he stood out of range, so very well played by Zergo and Pew. He tried to... <laughs> did I say lightning shot? Lightning shot. <laughs> yeah, what a, you guys know what I mean. New, New spells skill. all yeah. day. Oh, no, yeah, that's, that's, so, why, yeah, you, that's it was, why you guys It was well played by Zergo, that rather than misplayed by Pew. That oh, top lane. Both carries are like going at it for yeah, a second. That's... Marcus Moy's like, no, no, no. Well, this is going to be bad for him, actually. He's going to oh. go for the TP. Can they stun him Zergo's in time? And hell no! Oh. Oh. That's a little too late. Uh, do not have God Vision like us, so. <laughs> not as easy. Not as easy. Yeah. That's it. Moon Queen's fine. That's enough oh. map hack. There's the Resto Stone on Keeper. Uh, that's going to yep. be delivered now. And now mm. everyone but Moon Queen is poop. They Agreed. are going to die. They're going to get locked down for eight seconds. A lot of times. Well, he's not going to do it perfectly, so let's say it's going to be Ouch. like around six seconds. No, it's really hard to time it perfectly because obviously you don't want to give them time to move. Yeah. So you can uh, overlap them a little I bit. Would, but Bubbles in the meantime in the middle lane. He has a haste room bottled up. That's going to help him right here. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Yeah, if he didn't have the haste room, maybe a little bit different story, but yeah, the haste, it helps him. He's kind of even throwing some auto attacks, but. He's uh, taunting them. Yeah, d that's good distraction, though, because look at the top lane. You got Pestilence and Soul Stealer up here. Now, Kraken ports in, Pestilence PKs away, and so does Soul Stealer. So, again, it's a, just some good spread farm coming up from IG. And uh, some split pushing. I'm sure you can appreciate that, Keizu. Yes, split push number one. <laughs> number yep. one strats. They did. Need... Wait, what's your sick? Bubbles. Congress up, Congress up in the next 60 seconds from now. So um, IG really needs to just get some vision around there and ward it like crazy. I'm sure they have a Congress timer, hopefully, on somebody on the team does, because that's really important. Uh, I think if Fabelli gets a token plus the shield breaker that he has now, uh, he's just going to be crazy in fights. But they, they don't really care right now. Um, just going to kind of continue to push and you know, hope for the best, I guess. And maybe just go for the base. I don't know. They, they, they want this tower, though. They definitely yeah. want this tower. Would that actually display a time if you were in the game? No, but it's like you can bind it. Whenever I press zero, it says Congo timer. And when Congo goes down, I do that and then put the timer. Oh. Okay. Then, then yeah. like, when we're not sure. Oh, we're, okay. Oh. You just check back at the timestamp. Look at this, though. Speaking of Congo. Excellent. 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 Going for the ninja. There is no really vision. And Engineer, I like this too. You know, wow. he's making a point that well, we're not there. Don't worry about us. Farming up the middle, oh. but look at what IG's doing. They say you can take Conger, we'll take your base, good sirs. Melee Rax, it is dropping quickly, and vulnerability was already used. That is going to be easy, Rax. Uh, so this is kind of backfiring for IG here, I think. <laughs> what the hell, Pew? Why are you red buffing your movie? Oh, jeez. No, oh, jeez. It's falling apart. <laughs> Top lane, tower's falling. They will port back. They got the token on the Moon Queen. What can they make happen with it? Here we go. Coming to the back of the Solbers coming in as well. Shrunken had just used on Moon Queen, but crack hits to no chance. He just bought the souls. He is not buying back. There's the first root coming out. Moon Queen already shrunken. She is going to be locked down. She has Javanus Bane coming up right here. Here's the second root coming out there. She has Javanus Bane, but it's just too much lockdown. She will eventually fall. The towers fall. The racks are going down. And that should be GG right there. Internet gangsters. It looks like they're going to take game number two and take a 2 nothing series lead here. In the best out of five, but uh, I mean, on a serious note, though, again, they so excellent. It seemed like it was going to be a smart play by them doing some Congor, but 
I think that's all okay. You the guys think it was just a better response from IG in the end? It was a better response from IG. Really good call, whoever made that. That was kind of ballsy to just jump and just start attacking the racks because they could have kind of been hiding in the base. But um, I think they noticed that there's a long time that they were just not showing on the map and there's yeah. nowhere else they could be. So just a really good call from whoever made that. And yeah, definitely really big play from IG. They just closed the game in 30 seconds. Um, yeah. I, I, the second it started hitting the base, so really well played. Excellent kind of had to make something happen uh -huh. by doing that, but IG, they just they made the perfect decision in that exact moment. So whoever had the super quick thinking, well done. Yeah, it was props. a good call to just go for the racks instead of running over there. Maybe yeah. they, like they might have even been too late, who knows, or just wasted a lot of time, but instead they take the racks, force Excellent to come back, and Moonkin just melts oh, yeah. to P Pestilence, Old, and Soul Stealer. It's like minus 20 armor. See you. Yeah, she stood no chance. <laughs> I mean, uh, and then obviously Kraken just buying or just buying a Soul Spork before that. He's great on it, pick up, but had no buyback. He got picked up from the beginning. Yeah, it just fell apart there for Team Excellent. And again, but more so just going back to you, just great play from IG, great response on their part, great communication, and. Again, they're, they're here to win. They, they've they stressed it in the past, uh, in these previous couple of weeks, that this is the event that they are just putting all their commitment into, all their time. It's showing. It's showing throughout these qualifiers. The group stages, and here we are in the death match against Team Excellent, and they're up 2 nothing. And although although Team Excellent has hung in there, I mean, you can tell. IG is just uh, seems like they're just a step ahead right now of Team Excellent. So we'll see, ladies and gentlemen, if that possibly changes in game number three. Team Excellent, their backs are against the wall now to go to Dream Mac, at least through this event. They'll need to win, win one game at a time here and eventually win three in total, three in a row even, to make it happen. We'll see. Stay tuned, guys. Game number three going to be coming up. The DreamHack winner, 2013 qualifiers, deathmatch stages. Team Excellent versus IG. IG up 2-0. We'll be back here on Hawkcast.